Hi everyone, I just wanted to give you a bit of an update about my laser cutter and about my new water chiller. Many of you might remember that my K40 caught on fire a little while ago. I have fixed it. I was going to buy a new laser cutter at the time, but I left it too late and the one that I wanted to get was out of stock. Still is out of stock here in Australia and I don't particularly want to import one directly from China right now. I don't want to go through the hassles with customs and duty and uh, not knowing exactly what I'm going to get. So I'm going to wait until I upgrade my laser cutter, but I've got the K40 working again, which is great. But we're coming into summer now, and the ambient temperature obviously in my garage raises dramatically from the freezing cold to the too hot to stand in there for too long. And the laser cutter uses water for water cooling. And as the ambient temperature of the water rises, the laser has to work even harder or eventually gets so hot that I can't use it. So my sessions get shorter and the, uh, the ramp of temperature gets up pretty quick. So I bought myself a water chiller when I was going to buy the other laser cutter because the other laser cutter needed a water chiller. But the water chiller can also work with the K40. And I've been putting off unpacking it and setting it all up just because everything was working perfectly without it. But I walked into the garage on the weekend to have a play with the laser cutter and it was so warm in there that I got about seven minutes of cutting before I had to shut it all down. So let's have a look at what I've got set up right now and then we'll have a look at the unboxing of the chiller. I'll put it all together and hopefully it's going to work. Let's go. I have terrible lighting in my garage so I've had to open the garage door. I apologize for all the car sounds outside. So this is what I currently got right now. It's your typical water tub with an air pump inside it that pumps water out of the tub into the inlet of the laser here which then goes through the laser cool it all the way down the end and back out of the outlet which is just here the outlet goes into just a copper pipe type cooler with a fan on it to get as much cooling as I can back into the tub as you can see there's a lot of different sized tubes there's a lot of pretty nasty cabling I've had to do to get these working and compatible. I couldn't find any adapters that actually took from the different sizes of the pump. It's just an aquarium style pump, so it's pretty small connectors on them. But this works. It's been doing fine for a while, but the more I'm using my laser and the longer the sessions are, the faster the laser heats up. And the big issue I have right now is as we're coming into summer, the ambient temperature is obviously a lot higher than what it was during winter, which means the laser gets hot quicker and it's much harder to cool it. So I need something that actually chills the water properly so I can use the laser for longer or I can reduce the power of the laser. Enter the CW5500. It's specifically designed as a water chiller, industrial strength. Power cable, tubing, manual, another cable, lots of foam. Wow, this is massive. Much bigger than I expected it to be. Oh, and it's heavy. Okay, I need a place to put it. It's a good view of the back of it. Let me just move this box out of the way. Now, I don't know a lot about it. I'm gonna have to read the manuals. I'm gonna have to work out where I'm gonna put it. Obviously it's gonna go in place of where the water tub is right now. I don't even know if it'll fit. It's uh, pretty heavy, but Let's find out. Okay, it's in. As you can see, I've got my inlet and outlet. All the rest of the cooling's been removed. And it was a bit of a challenge to get these cables in. The connectors are for a thicker silicon tube cable. But these cables are actually permanently attached to the laser. So I did not want to have to remove everything in there as you can kind of see it's a bit dark but it's all been siliconed and connected to the laser tube and I just did not want to have to pull all that apart so I completely wrecked my fingers but managed to squeeze the tubes on and I've locked them into place I have not turned the chiller on yet I'm a little bit scared <laughs> but it's all plugged in powered up so um Let's give it a shot. Okay, it's up and running. It's loud. Let's see if you can see the temperature. K40 
currently 18.9 degrees and dropping but it's in there are no leaks which is pretty good and you might be able to just see here that's the uh, temperature reading going through the laser so that keeps dropping as well that's pretty good so next is to do a test run so obviously this is much noisier than what I had before but the laser is noisy when it's running anyway but I now have water chiller on my laser and just walk around here a much cleaner setup at the back I just have to keep monitoring these back connections and make sure there's no leaks but so far so good and there we go we have a success we're doing a cut right now very hard to see through the camera I'll try to stay focused on the cut mark so I'm just testing some ply it's been running for about four minutes so far at a pretty high intensity and uh, as you can see the temperature is pretty good it's very good actually So the water cello is definitely keeping everything nice and cool at the moment. Okay, and there we go. So it wasn't a full cut through that I was doing. It was just my laser clock display over just a piece of plywood just to see that everything was working okay, there was no errors. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the chilling. Very happy. Hopefully you'll be able to hear everything I'm saying. Okay, that's it. The K40 is working. Water chill is in. I look forward to being able to do longer cutting sessions now, especially in the hot weather inside the uh, very humid and sauna-like garage of mine. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the uh, never-ending journey saga of the K40 laser cutter. And until next time, catch you later.